Hello everyone, Gareth Masters and Four back again today doing another Valve Hammer tutorial. This time around, I'm going to outline how to create the pneumatic diversity vent testing element for Portal 2. That's right, I'm actually in the Portal 2 authoring tools. I'm not using Hammer Plus Plus because that's a pain in the ass to get set up with Portal 2. So I'm just using the bog standard Hammer editor today. And as you can see, I've got this um, very basic rudimentary testing setup. And this hole in the wall over here is going to serve as our diversity vent setup. So what we're going to want to do is create some prop static entities and find the appropriate tube models that we want. So if I go under world model, then we're going to have to find um, BTS, I believe it is. Props BTS and it's a vacuum tube. So that's all the way down here. And 128 straight seems good enough to me. So let's use that. And we're going to have to place them in the appropriate place. So say about there and there. Then I'm going to shift drag like so. Duplicating the tubes until an appropriate spot. And then I'm actually going to change. Now I'm going to change the next one. So if we shift drag again, we put that there, but now we need to have a 90 degree turn. So that's going to be one of these, like so. And we're also going to have to shift drag and use a connector. So that's going to be this. Now of course that's not set up correctly. So we change or we don't change the angles like that. No, 90 in the Z, presumably. There we go. Okay. Yeah, obviously I've not done this before. I wanted to do it as live as possible for the best possible results. But we have something that looks a little like this. Um, let's just see if we can do that. Okay, it doesn't really matter which way it goes. So if we control Z, we undo that and save. Save your work periodically, my friends. So yeah, this is our pneumatic diversity vent. It's going to go sucking the right way down here into this out of bounds kind of area. Might as well uh, just make sure it goes all the way to the end. So yeah, that's the idea of the pneumatic diversity vent. It takes testing elements like turrets, like boxes, and you can suck them out of the level. Now this wasn't ever introduced in Portal 2, but all of the features can still be implemented. And you can do this in Portal 1. So yeah, I mean, some of the things you can't do in Portal 1, but this is the key functionality I'm gonna outline is something that you can do in Portal 1, so that's good. So what the first step recommends is we have a trigger brush around the area of our 90 degree turn like so and we want it to go all the way down to the floor as well so if we do that then i've got a cylindrical brush for some reason but that's you know because i just used a just used something completely different just a moment ago before making this video so if we do that then the inside trigger brush that i just created we can get rid of so anyway that's our trigger push so if we control t this and tie it to a trigger push then one of the things we need to do is our push direction if i just stretch this out a little bit and stretch that a little bit as well we want it to point upwards like so we want our speed to be of the order of 1500 and we want to make sure that the physics objects and npc flags are checked so physics objects is going to be our boxes and npcs is going to be the uh, turrets. So that should be everything that we need to do here. And then if we deselect that, but then do something like this. Oops, wrong thing. Just uh, go down. There we go. Let's go like that and then stretch it up like so. Then if we do that, then we can control T this to a trigger push as well, like so. And again, we want our speed of push to be 1500, but this time we want it to be facing downwards in the axis of choice. So in this case, our XY plane, the top down view, we're pointing downwards. So we want it to be pointing downwards there. And again, 
NPCs physics objects are selected. So that is the fundamental aspects of the pneumatic diversity event. There's a couple other things that we're going to need to add. We're going to need a point push and we're going to add this um, pretty much at our center here and just a little bit above the ground. Okay, so if we load up into the properties of this, then again, we want it to be pointing upwards like so. And we want to set our radius to about 250. So it looks a bit like that. And we want a magnitude of negative 40. And just a quick addendum, everyone in the point push flags, please be sure to uncheck push players as this is something that I didn't realize you had to do. And we're going to need an info placement helper, which is right, one of these entities right here. This is also going to go around here, somewhere like that. Oh, sorry, we're on a radius of 64. Excuse me, I don't know what I'm talking about. And again, we can have the angles facing upwards as well, just to be uh, on the safe side. And last but not least, we need an info particle system. That is going to go above the tube. And we're going to make this point downwards. Right, no, it's not control point one, it's particle system name, excuse me. And that is completely useless. It's broken tube suck, I believe it is. And then start active is set to yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna decrease the size of this a little bit. So we want it to push up, but then also go into this volume over here. So it's going to push up and then hit the top and then go into the other trigger volume. So I think it's best to do it a little bit like that. We'll see when we get to the testing phase of things. And the last thing we need to do is right at this end right over here. I'm going to create a 128 by 128 by 16 trigger volume. And we're going to try tie this, excuse me, to a trigger multiple. And we're going to deselect clients and deselect this correctly account for object mass and we're only going to have NPCs and physics objects as the flags and in outputs we're going to say on start touch exclamation mark activator which should you know show up as a valid output and then kill so exclamation mark activator is just a way of saying whatever entity touches this trigger volume, we're going to remove it because it's going effectively out of the map and out of existence for all we care. So if I save the map and do some testing, then what we should see is the pneumatic diversity tube is sucking up items into it and we can use portals to, you know, suck up turrets in the walls, through the ceilings, even through the floor you know walls ceilings everything so i know i'm not making any sense there but the thing is when i said this can be done in portal the ability to suck up turrets through the walls and for the ceilings isn't going to work um but you can still use the floors possibly and with the right kind of placement you can still suck up items out of the map so that's pretty much the tutorial everyone i hope you found this helpful apologies for the fuck ups and for some of the pauses that i do it's all because I haven't done this before, I'm doing this live, doing this impromptu and I was just figuring out things on the fly and trying to see what information was needed at certain steps. But yeah, with all that being said and done everyone, please like, comment, share, subscribe and all that good stuff and take care out there and see you next time for whatever I decide to do next. Peace people.